47 Tech here and welcome to a new video. So today as you can see we have this brand new Samsung Galaxy S7 here for unboxing. Now this is the Cricut version and Cricut just received the phone a couple of days ago. I know I'm kind of late on this unboxing but just wanted to get to it for my viewers and subscribers. But uh, this is the Galaxy S7, pretty cool box. They kind of changed it up. This is the 32 gigabyte version as you can see. On the side you can see the uh, the color of the phone. Before it was midnight blue or something like that, but I guess now they named it black onyx. That's how you say it, I guess. Uh, and on the side of the on the back of the box, kind of pretty dirty. So on the back of the box it says it's 4G LTE, 64 uh, bit quad core processor. That's not right. It should be a octa core, but it depends. It has two different uh, processors. It has two quad core processors, so I guess that could be right. 5.1 inch display, 12 megapixel camera, and a 5 megapixel front facing camera. So let's go ahead and get to the unboxing of this. I have specs on the side also. So I'm going to go ahead and pull off the box. Pretty nifty Samsung box. And it undoes from there. And we have the phone right there. I'm going to go ahead and put it to the side. Under here you have a little tray, plastic tray. You have a SIM card. And then under here. I guess uh, you have this little manual type thing where you can open it up and you find a little insert to go ahead and open up your uh, SIM card slot with. You have the Cricut uh, Simple Quick and Start Guide, everything's upside down, Samsung Pay, Samsung Terms and Regulations, and Terms and Conditions for Cricut. So I'm going to go ahead and put that all to the side. And then in here you have the regular Samsung adapter. You have the regular Samsung USB and something I've never seen before. This is pretty cool. It's a USB connector. Huh. So I guess I'm not sure what this would be used for, but uh, to be honest, I haven't really looked into this phone and all the features it has. This is my first time looking at it. So this is pretty cool. It's a USB connector. That's what they call it. But USB goes in here and your charger goes in there. That's pretty cool. And uh, this is your earbuds, if I can get them out. A lot of accessories. And there you go. I got, got them out. So these are the earbuds. So they look pretty cool. New Samsung earbuds. Uh, kind of try to get a focus on them. But yeah, they look pretty cool. They kind of changed up the game too. So I'll be definitely testing these bad boys out. I like the old ones from Samsung. So I'll definitely test these out. But they look pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and throw all this to the side and get into the main portion of the video for the phone. Go ahead and throw that to the side too. And this is the phone. So seems about the same way. Looks kind of different at the back on the regular 6. I guess they edged it off from the back. I don't think the regular one was edged off. It was just a square. On the back you have the camera. You have the flash with the heart rate monitor sensor. Have the S7. You have uh, the edges. You have the regular speaker. You have the uh, charging port and you have the uh, AUX jack port right there. Uh, on the side you have volume up, volume down. On the top you have your SIM card slot and then on the side right here you have your power button. Let's go ahead and turn the phone on. So it just said welcome to S Galaxy S7. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this little film off right here. So it's just starting up. Now uh, we get the regular cricket. So you have the home button, the back button, and the uh, menu button, and the startup. And let's go ahead and take you through some specifications on this phone. So this phone does run an Android Marshmallow 5.1 quad HD Super AMOLED display. It has a 32 megabyte, 32 gigabyte internal storage with a uh, storage card up to 200 gigabytes. 4G LTE compatibility, Bluetooth. It has a rear camera of 12 megapixel with dual pixel, dual pixel technology, flash and UHD video, and a front with 5 megapixel wide angle lens and a QHD video. So pretty beefed up specs on the camera there. Uh, it does have a 2.1 quad core processor, a 1.6 quad core, another 1.6 quad core processor. So that makes it an octa core processor, and a 3000 mAh battery, which is non removable. So let's go ahead and get into the phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit start. I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. Skip anyway. Agree to all the terms and conditions. Put my first name. No thanks. Skip anyway. 
So regular old terms and conditions. Oh, I accidentally hit decline. I hope. Okay, there you go. I accidentally hit decline on one of the things. Regularly accepted on the right, but I guess Samsung kind of tricked people with that one. So uh, definitely, it seems it seems pretty much same like the Galaxy S6. Not much change. Uh, I'm gonna go in and do that later, but it is a pretty quick phone. Of course the octa-core processor definitely kicks in and it's pretty cool uh, Let's go ahead and go to the apps. So on the apps, Samsung did what most people do with the marshmallow is that they go ahead and put them into folders So basically you have a cricket folder in there You have the Deezer my cricket and visual voicemail app and then you have the Google where you have all everything Google YouTube and all that kind of stuff subscribe to the channel and you have the Samsung apps, which are, your, which are your Galaxy apps, Internet, Samsung Milk Music, and all that kind of stuff. Haven't really tried Milk Music. I'm a big Apple fan, so I've been on iTunes Radio. I mean, uh, Apple Music with iTunes Radio on it, and it's pretty cool. Uh, you have the camera. You have the gallery. So first of all, let's go ahead and take this through a camera test. I know a lot of people have been waiting for the camera on this phone. Definitely looks nice. Uh, I have my Canon cap right here. Was looking for that. And we put that underneath. And definitely, it's a very nice camera. Uh, I would actually have to say this kind of beats out maybe uh, the iPhone on the camera-wise. I mean, Samsung has some pretty nice cameras. Like, you know, they, this, this has a really nice camera. Uh, let's go ahead and turn it over onto the back. And then, okay. I guess you can go ahead and tap the heart rate monitor to take a selfie. That's, so that's pretty cool. And then we have that right here. So front camera is pretty good. Also, you can see my TV at the back and everything. So let's go ahead and flip that over. But yeah, pretty good cameras. Dual, te dual pixel technology definitely did come in hand. And it looks pretty nice. Uh, you have, uh, let's go ahead and test out the messaging. So I guess you can go ahead and allow that. And let's go ahead and type in some things. So yeah, it has pretty good sensitivity. Uh, and it recognizes where your fingers land. This is uh, tap the check mark to keep the current text. Okay. Okay. So basically, you can hit correct and all that kind of stuff. What's up? So yeah, it has pretty good technology. I mean, this phone has runs on an octa core processor, so it will recognize everything. And the screen sensitivity is pretty good on this phone too. Uh, you have the home button right there with the back and menu buttons, where you can go ahead and. Uh, you can go ahead and close all the things. Now I saw something there which was split view, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up messages, and I'm gonna go ahead and open up, let's say the camera, and I'll go ahead and open up one more app, the phone, and let's see what that does. Okay, so I guess you can split view it, hitting that or something. Oh, okay, so that's pretty cool. So you can actually, uh, you can see your text message on, t on the top half of the screen, and the bottom half you can see your phone. So that's a pretty cool feature that they put in there too. Uh, let's go ahead and see the phone. So on the phone, yeah, you, you have a pretty nice, uh, if you have big fingers like me, you can easily touch the phone and you can easily go to your logs, favorites and contacts right up there. So pretty easy to use. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the version of this phone, see if Marshmallow has been updated or not. So you can go ahead and go to personal about device. Uh, Android 6.01, so they do have a 6.01 version, unless Marshmallow came out with 6.01, so don't quote me on that, but it seems like they did have an update security patch on Feb, Feb, uh, February 1st and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so let's go ahead and drop down the pull bound bar. So it looks, uh, looks like the same. You have everything. You have all the widgets down here. You can go ahead and hit that arrow, and you have a bunch of more widgets. Private mode. What's private mode? Okay, so I guess there's some type of private mode on there. Uh, let's go ahead and check out some other things. They have do not disturb, same thing as iPhone, power saving, power saving, you power saving and power saving. So I wonder what's the difference between that. Airplane mode, flashlight, pretty bright flashlight as y'all can see in the background. Uh, you have the private mode, smart view, NFC and all that kind of stuff. S Finder. So pretty cool. Uh, same old stuff as an Android though. I mean, uh, to be honest, I wasn't really surprised by this phone. Whenever the phone came out, I really thought that uh, Samsung would change it up. You know, every year whenever Samsung drops an S7, uh, they change up the specs of it. Like, you know, and then also they go ahead and change up the, uh, the, the body of the phone. But this year they didn't change up anything. Bezel is the same. All, 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 the only thing I see 
is that they went ahead and uh, curved out the back. So that's the only thing I see they do different. I'm really excited for the iPhone 7 to come out this year. Hopefully it does come out. And I'm excited, I'm excited to see what they do with that. Uh, if they keep it as the same as the S6, uh, the Galaxy. I'm getting all my phones mixed up today. Um, the iPhone 6S or the 6, if they keep it the same. But I'm, I hope they change up the body and they do something different. I'm not sure. No rumors yet. But we'll see what that happens. What happens with that. But that's it for this one, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, go ahead and leave a like. I guess whenever the phone goes black, you can't see your 4, 4.51 a.m. That's not the current time right now. It's actually 10 o'clock at night. But uh, I guess that's just, it's not set on the current right time. But that's it for this one. Also, uh, Cricut has this phone for $649. Also, if you do purchase it through Cricut, you can go ahead and get an LG VR for free. Now, I don't have one here. One to, I don't have one of those here today. But I do plan on getting one soon and testing that. So I'll definitely do that because I tested the LG VR and that was pretty cool. So I definitely want to see a Samsung VR. I'll definitely test one of those. So uh, basically all you have to do is take a picture of your receipt, send it in, and they'll give you a free Samsung VR that's worth up to 150 bucks. So that's pretty cool. And I've been hearing a lot of good, good stuff with the VR. Maybe iPhone this, come, this year comes with the VR. I'm not sure. But... Uh, if you have any comments, as usual, go ahead and drop them down below in the comment section. Uh, I'll try to get to every single one of them. A lot of new content is about to come out, so go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button and that like button. But other than that, guys, that's it for this one. Uh, keep up to date with all of my things on Instagram and Snapchat. I mean, uh, well, I don't have a Snapchat just yet. Let me know if you want me to make a Snapchat. But Instagram or Twitter at Unboxing247Tech. But that's it for this one, guys. Thank you very much. Take care. See y'all later.